All right, welcome to tonight's lesson. Uh, so in this lesson, like I said, we're going to start matrices and um, we just do uh, some of the tutorial questions under matrices. So in case you have any questions as I'm going to be teaching, you can simply, you can simply interrupt and ask. Uh, so let's quickly begin. So in case you, you have any questions, feel free to contact me using these lines on the screen. Okay. So this is the first question that we have. And the question says, suppose that you are given the following matrices, compute A minus five B. Uh, so addition and subtraction of matrices is, uh, is the simplest actually. It's the simplest uh, under the topic of matrices. So let's see how we can solve this one. So this one is a simple question. Let me just do it quickly. So they are saying that we have to subtract 5B from what? From A. So what this means is that we first have to work out uh, what 5B is. So we've been given B as that matrix. So now how do you know, or how do you find 5B? In other words, we're trying to multiply five times B. So what I mean is this, this is what I mean. So you're going to have A minus and then 5B. So A minus 5B is just the same as writing the matrix A there, which is three, negative two, four, negative nine, one, five, negative three, two, one. Then you say minus five times the matrix B. So this is what we have. Okay, so this is what we have. So to find, uh, so to find um, the value of this question, or rather the answer to this question, we simply now have to multiply this five because it's a constant, it's a scalar. We multiply it to everything that is in the everything that is in the what is in the matrix. It, you multiply this five to each member of or each element of this matrix. So let me write first what I have this side. So this is what I have. Then I'm multiplying five times four there. I'm getting five times negative four. This one is giving me uh, negative 20. And uh, five times one, this one is giving me five. Five times six, this one will give me 30. Then the same five, you multiply it to the next row there. We have five times zero, this one will still be zero. Five times negative five, we are going to have um, negative uh, 25. And then we have five times two, this one is 10. Then five times one, this is five. Five times four, we have 20 there. Five times negative three there, this is giving us uh, negative 15. So now let us subtract. So subtracting matrices, you simply just subtract the corresponding elements or entries in the matrix. So for instance, if I want to subtract this a matrix, I mean, if I want to subtract this matrix from that, I have to say what I have there minus what I have there. You look at the corresponding um, entries. So the first one that we're going to get there, we have three minus, we have this three, I mean, we have this three there, there's a minus negative 20. So when we say three minus negative 20 there, we're going to get three negative and negative there will become a positive, then we have a 20 there. So three plus 20, you are getting 23. So we have 23 there. Okay. So in the next one, we do the same. We have negative two and five. So we say negative two minus this minus there. 
minus uh, five. So this one gives us negative seven. So we put negative seven there. Then we also do the same four minus 30, we're getting negative 26. Negative nine minus zero, we're getting negative nine. One minus 25, we're getting negative 24. Uh, five minus 10, we're getting negative five. And we have negative three minus five. This is giving us negative eight. Then we have two, uh, two minus 20. This is giving us negative 18. Then the last one is one minus negative 15. So one minus negative 15 will give us what? 16. So this is the solution uh, to the first question that we are given. So the first question was A minus five B, and this is what we have. So is this supposed to be? Is this supposed to be negative 16? No, we have this one is positive. So the one is positive, and then we say one minus, then. Oh, okay, okay. Then, right? Yeah, so this negative and negative is giving us a positive. Yeah, so when you add the two, you're getting positive 16. Okay, so matrices are very simple. Let us quickly move on to the next question. Okay. Okay, so this is the next question that we have. So the next question is we're trying to multiply two matrices. We're trying to multiply two matrices A and B and the matrices have been given. So multiplication of matrices A and B uh, is simply done by multiplying rows by columns. Yeah, so there's um, one thing you have to understand, if you have, let's say a matrix that is a three by three matrix, you're multiplying it uh, with a, maybe a two by three matrix, the result I mean, to find the result, the result is going to be a three by three matrix. Yeah, so you simply just get the first number that you have there and the last number, you put them together. So the result of multiplying a three by three and a two by three matrix will give you a three by three. So in this case, we have a two by three matrix being multiplied to a, um, to a three by four matrix. So, how do you find the solution to this? Okay, before we even find the solution, we have to know what matrix or what kind of a matrix that we, we are going to have as the solution. So I was saying we have matrix A there is a two by three matrix because it has two rows and three columns. And then uh, matrix B there is having, I mean, it's a, it's a three, by four matrices. So now the solution is going to be a two by what? By four. Yeah, so the solution is going to be a two by four matrix. So now let us um, find the, what is the product of these two matrices? Okay. So the first matrix that we have is two, negative one, zero. Then we have negative three, Okay, so um,
Okay, so uh, we have this matrix A, which is negative three, then six, then we have one there. Then we're multiplying it with the matrix, um, the next matrix B, which is uh, one, negative four, zero, then we have zero there, three, three. Then we have negative one, one, zero. Then we have two, zero, negative two. Okay. So we know to say the result of multiplying these two matrices is going to be a two, um, two by uh, four matrix. So let us see if uh, truly this is going to be a two by four matrix. Okay. So we said multiplying matrices, we multiply them um, row by column. Yeah. So you take all the rows, you multiply them by the by the columns of the next matrix. Okay. So the rows here we have two. We have this one and this one. So we're going to multiply them to the. Uh, I mean, we're going to multiply them with the uh, is the column. Okay, so we have the first element now, which is two. We're going to multiply it with one there. So two times one, the answer will be a two. And then we say plus. Okay, so we say plus. Yeah, so we say plus, and then the other one we have there is negative one. We multiply it with the next number there in the column. So negative one times negative four, we have this negative one times negative four, we're getting positive four. So I'm going to put four there. And then we have zero times zero there to give us a zero. Then the next, um, the next uh, part that we're going to have is this one. We're going to multiply the same numbers that I have there with the next column there. So we have two times zero there. The answer will be a zero. Then we have negative one times uh, three there. The answer will be uh, negative, uh, yeah, negative one times three, the answer will be negative three. Then we have zero times three there, which is a zero. Then we move on to the next one. So we have two times negative one. This will give us negative two. And then we have negative one uh, times uh, one there to give us negative one. Then zero times zero, the answer is zero. So move on to the last one there. We have, uh, the last one is going to be two times two there. The answer will be two. Then negative one times zero, the answer will be zero. Then we have zero times uh, negative two, the answer will still be zero. So we move, um, we move to the next row. So the next row, the second row, we're going to multiply the second row in the first matrix there to all the columns that are in the second matrix. So we have this one there. We have negative three times one. So negative three times one is going to give us negative three. Let me close this side. And then we have six times um, negative four. So six times negative four will give us the negative 24. So let me just erase this positive. So we get negative 24. Then we have one times zero. One times zero is simply just zero. Then we move on to the next question, which is a negative three times zero. This one will give us a zero. Then we have um, 
six times uh, three there to give us 18. Then we have one times three, that is going to give us three. Then we move on to the next one, we have negative three times negative one, this will give us positive three. Then we have six times, um, so we have six times one there to give us six. And then we have one times zero there. So one times zero, the answer is zero. We move on to the last column in this one. So we have negative three times two there, the answer is negative six. Then we have six times zero, the answer is zero. Then we have one times negative two, the answer is negative two. So here it's just a matter of finding the final solution by adding the uh, the OASIS, by working out the operations that are in the brackets in the matrix here. So two plus four will give us six, negative three plus zero, zero minus three plus zero will give us minus three, negative two minus one will give us negative three, then we have two plus zero plus zero, the answer is two. Then we move on to the next one. The next one is negative three and negative 24. This one will give us negative 27. Then we have 18 and three there. This one will give us, um, when we add them, we're going to get 21. Then we have three and six there. So three and six, when you add them, you're getting nine. Then negative six and negative two, when you add them, you get um, negative eight. Yeah, so you get negative eight. So this is the product of these two matrices. So this is the simplest way of finding, or this is the simplest way of multiplying uh, two matrices. So this is how we multiply matrices. I don't know if you guys have a question. If anyone has a question, you can simply just uh, ask. Okay, so silence means that there is no question. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. 